Both Lewis Hamilton and Toto Wolff said that Hamilton's contract extension would be signed by the end of the Christmas break. The one thing that is for sure is that the 5th of March is getting very close. So what is really causing these delays? And if Hamilton does end up leaving Mercedes at the end of the 2023 season, what would a life out of the F1 cockpit look like for Lewis? Join us today as we reveal Hamilton's three big demands and the one thing that Lewis would lead him to quit racing. Before we dive into these contract talks, it is important to note that Lewis has always been notoriously demanding of his contracts. In fact, back in 2012, when Eccleston was trying to get a young Lewis to leave McLaren and join his team Mercedes, Lewis demanded a eye-watering $50 million. This had Mercedes scrambling and almost called off the move. But Ecclestone was not willing to let that happen and offered to pay the difference to see the young Brit make the move. In the new documentary Lucky, Eccleston went on to say, So I said, well, he's somebody that I think Mercedes needs. I'll pay the difference. But eventually, Mercedes paid. It turned out to be a golden move, as Mercedes took no fewer than six world titles with Hamilton. But this contract is now running out, and whilst both parties are expected to make a longer commitment to each other, it has been radio silent from Team Mercedes. That is, until recently, when contract demands have been leaked. Stick around to make sure you don't miss what Hamilton really wants from Mercedes. With Hamilton bringing home a cool $40 million per year, Toto Wolff has been very vocal about how both Hamilton and Verstappen's contracts make any driver salary cap to be implemented as part of F1's longer-term goal of cutting costs difficult. Back in 2020, the original proposal was $30 million. Now, that is significantly less than what the two hottest drivers are getting. Toto went on to say, It certainly has come up as a controversial topic. We can see that we are facing a very difficult situation in F1 overall. The sport is booming and F1 is earning more money, and that trickles down to the teams. But we have a cost cap. We have $140 million for 1,000 people. With inflation, we haven't been able to even pay the inflation. I think the talk about $30 or $40 million salary allowance is inadequate when you take that perspective. Despite the financial pressure from Formula One, nothing has been agreed with respect to salary caps and when quizzed if he expected Lewis's to be at Mercedes next year whilst on the F1 podcast Beyond the Grid, he emphatically answered absolutely. Lewis is part of the team and the team is part of Lewis, so there's no reason to not continue. So what exactly is Lewis demanding this time round? Given it is realistically his last racing contract before he retires, he's going all out on this one. So what are his three priority demands? Number one, life after racing. Hamilton wants a post-racing role with Team Mercedes. Now, this one seems like a no-brainer for both driver and team. He could keep a unique blend of advanced technical and mechanical know-how at the Silver Arrows, passing on this invaluable information to the team's drivers. The exact scope of this role remains to be seen, but surely this is not a sticking point. So what are the two parties not in agreement? Travel less. Hamilton wants to reduce the amount of time he spends flying around the world on promotions and sponsorship deals instead of spending time at home with his family. Again, this is a demand which is logical given the amount of time the 37-year-old has spent on the road over his career. But what would the sponsors and promoters think of this? Would they be happy to support his comfort over the value he brings? By far the most popular driver with 31 million Instagram followers, we guess the sponsors will be giving Mercedes a hard time over this one. Although COVID has somewhat changed perceptions on this one, which Hamilton is looking to capitalize on. I'm sure there'll be a lot of Zoom dates in the contract rather than actual present days, which means I have to fly less. Or is this wishful thinking? Money. Yes, money truly does make the world go round. And Hamilton will be playing his strongest hand to get a deal that brings him the most amount of cash. On his last contract negotiations, he was forced to cut his demands from a $200 million to a $150 million contract. So he will certainly be looking to barter with Toto Wolf for the best possible deal. As mentioned earlier, Wolf has recently reassured fans that Hamilton's contract extension is a formality and that his, Lewis's demands are hurdles rather than blockades. But given Hamilton is worth $285 million, there is a more complex picture. How much does Hamilton care about racing in place of his other aspirations? The one goal that will definitely be on Hamilton's mind is a chance to win the elusive eighth championship title, which would see him pass Michael Schumacher as the all-time most successful Formula One driver. That has to be appealing, but to do that, Mercedes will need to produce a car that he can actually challenge. 
So what other interests may be tempting the driver away from Formula 1? Well, he's without a doubt the most active driver, taking a stance against racism and climate change. This was sparked in 2020 following the death of George Floyd, where Hamilton led the Black Lives Matter movement by rallying up the drivers to take a knee. Sebastian Vettel was the first to join Hamilton, but Hamilton's efforts did not end there. He actually claimed that he would rather not race again than be forced to be quiet and not take a stance. Just knowing that things needed to be said, needed to be done, because there are so many people struggling. I would rather not race again and have done that and spoken out for people than continue to do what I was doing. Hamilton admits he's seen so much grown within himself since 2020, a year he deems as having been hugely impactful. I've definitely seen so much growth within myself over several years now. As if tackling racism was not a big enough challenge, Hamilton is also an environmental activist who, despite his car garage full of luxury cars, remarkably no longer drives them. I don't drive any of the cars I own anymore. I only drive my electric Mercedes-Benz EQC, said Hamilton in a Reuters interview. He's even started selling off his car collection, albeit for an incredible profit of $10 million a pop. Yes, he sold his personalized Zonda 760 LH with 760 horsepower, AMG V12 engine, and unique purple coat for $11.3 million. Now, we're not entirely convinced it is all for the environment, given his earlier comments that the Zonda is terrible to drive. It's the best sounding car I own, but handling wise, it's the worst. He has also gone on to sell his private jet and demand that any car picking him up in front of an airport is an electric vehicle. Beyond traveling, he and his dog Roscoe follow a strict vegan diet. If you want to find out more about Roscoe, make sure to watch this video. You may be thinking, what else would Hamilton do if he's not racing? Well, the driver is an adrenaline junkie and is known to go skydiving. In fact, in 2020, he made full use after the break between the Saudi Arabian and Australian Grand Prix by taking no fewer than 10 skydives. That's pretty mad. Anyway, we digress a bit. Back to his contract extension with Mercedes. Is there any team that could tempt Lewis away from the Silver Arrows? It seems not. Lewis has openly talked about the conversations he had with the Scuderia a few years back, and more recently has spoken to Sky Italia about the dream of joining Ferrari. In an interview, he said, For many years, when I came to Monza, walking next to the fans, I could hear them saying come to Ferrari. This warmed my heart, but it's pretty amazing that I've never driven for Ferrari in so many years because it is a dream for anyone, a goal to be achieved. It looks like it's either Mercedes or retirement for the Brit, who would be willing to put off his retirement into a life of activism, adrenaline and time with his family and dog for one more year. Do you think Mercedes will meet his demands? And will we see him racing with them for 2024? Let us know!